Hello! Welcome to Adventures in TV Land! For today's adventure, I've come to Country Classic Cars in Staunton, Illinois. Now, Country Classic Cars, it is a classic car, basically, shop. They have several buildings filled with antique and older cars that are all for sale. For a very small admission fee, you can come here and you can walk around the property and you can just check all the cars out. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check out the cars here at Country Classic Cars. Now I was told inside they have six buildings as well as various cars that are outside scattered around. So we're going to go into our first building just to kind of check things out. Country Classic Cars has been around since 1997. They sell about 40 cars a month and they have an A rating with the Better Business Bureau. There are over 600 cars for sale. This is a 1970 Volkswagen Gazelle. Look at that, it's got the wooden dash. It's not greased lightning, it's a white lightning. Now this is a 1963 Volkswagen dune buggy. This is a 1933 Chevy sedan. Now into building number two. This is a 1947 Willys Custom Panel Wagon Street Rod. Windows down in this one. Let me take a look inside there. Here we have a 1978 Chevy Nova. It's a 1955 Dodge Deluxe truck.
This is a 1939 Packard. Here's a vehicle I've never seen before, but I've heard about him, I've seen him in the older movies. It's a 1959 Edsel. That's right, look at that. Edsel. It's no kidding when they said these cars were boats. They weren't joking. I mean, look at the length of that thing. It's a 1938 LaSalle. Not only have I seen my first Edsel in person today, I am seeing my second. For here is another one. This is an Edsel wa station wagon. This is a 1951 Nash Ambassador. This is a 1949 Plymouth. It has been themed and decked out as a vehicle for the Bates Motel. And look, Mother's even riding shotgun. And this 1984 Pontiac Fiero is interesting because it was one of the official pace cars for the Indianapolis 500 in Time to visit building number three. Now this, so far, is the smallest of the sheds. Here we have a 1956. Mercury Custom. I like the little details like that there. And these older cars. They make them stand out. Give it a little bit of Class. 
that vehicles just don't have anymore. This is a 1975 Triumph TR6. Now what's amazing is that all of these vehicles sale. So if you see something in this video that you might like, be sure to check them out and let them know and maybe you can purchase yourself your own classic car. Building number four. Here's a 1986 Chevy Camaro. Here's a 1950 Studebaker. Here is another Edsel. Until today, I had never seen an Edsel in person. And now so far I've seen three. Just today. Well, all my stars and garters make that four. Here is another Edsel, a 1959 Edsel Ranger. Now it's time to head into building number five, which appears to be the largest of the buildings here on property. And I'm just gonna give a real quick 360 here. We are on the, the rear edge of the building. Far. How many cars there are? It's a nineteen fifty two Dodge Cornet. This is a 1950 Pontiac Silver Streak. I love that hood emblem. Now here is something interesting. This is a 1949 Packard, and it was used, screen used, in the fourth season of Fargo. It's a 
1948 Lincoln Continental. There's another vehicle I have not seen for a very long time. It's a 1972 Ford Galaxy. I remember a few of these driving around when I was younger, really young. Now we are going to go into building number six. And after that, I'll take a look at a few of the vehicles sitting outside here. It's a 1969 Cadillac DeVille. This is a 1949 DeSoto. Those awesome looking door handles. Just don't make things like that anymore. This is a 1987 Trabant. It is an East German car. So this was made about two years before the Berlin Wall came down. Here we have a 1956 Lincoln Premier Land Rover. It was a 1985 Cadillac Eldorado. This is a 1961 Ford Econoline. pickup truck with a very unique shape. This is a 1960 AMC Rambler. Here's a 1985 Volkswagen Rabbit. Earlier in the video, you saw that uh, they did have a car that was used in the TV show Fargo. And it should be noted, I do know this place. Not only do they occasionally have vehicles that were screened used, 
But a lot, many times Hollywood, the studios, they actually come here, they've come here, and they have purchased and leased vehicles from here and have used them in movies, so, in television shows. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. It's pretty neat. And since their inventory is always changing, you never know what you might find. You might come here and you may see another vehicle that was used in a motion picture or something. Well, that was Country Classic Cars in Staunton, Illinois. If you saw anything that you liked, I mean, they have a lot more vehicles, over 600. Uh, you know, give them a call, come out and check it out, and you could go home and buy yourself a vehicle here, a classic car. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or you have a suggestion about some future video you would like to see, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this adventure or any of the adventures in TV land, you can help support this channel by going to either buy me a coffee or Patreon and making a donation or becoming a member of either one of those two places. You could also, if you just liked, you could hit the super thanks button here on YouTube. It's the little heart with the money sign in it. And you can make a one-time donation that way as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.